What up, YouTube? Your boy, Big C, with New Salon Care, back at you. I know uh, it's been a few weeks. I ain't posted nothing or made a video. So uh, today, uh, oh yeah, I meant to say, happy belated Resurrected Sunday or Easter. Uh, it was cold here in Chicago for Easter this year. 40, I think it was 41, 40 degrees. And thank God I'm on spring break with my regular nine to five, but I was gonna get out here and cut some lawns to try to, you know, get me, I ain't gonna say an early start, but ahead of the game. I've already been cutting. I've uh, did, majority of my clients has been cut one time or two times. Uh, but today, since I, it's too cold, it, we actually had snow today. So in the Chicagoland area, in the south suburbs, and some in the majority of parts of Chicago, we had snow. So when I woke up at uh, 7.30 this morning, it was snow on the roof, snow in the grass. So I knew I wasn't going out to mow today. Uh, so I decided to come in the garage. Y'all can see the garage in the background. And fix my, I guess it's called Burley, Berkeley uh, spreader. Now, I do have that Echo. I'm going to show you in a minute. I'm going to flip my camera around. I got the Echo spreader. You know, the, what is it? I'm going to look at the, the RB60. So, I got that last year. And it's not a bad spreader, but my original Berkeley, I like it better. If, I can tell you, from using the Echo for a year, you know, last season and starting it out with this season, I just like the length of the handle on the Berkeley, the, the way you can set, you know, set how much uh, fertilizer or herbicide to put out, the spread width, stuff like that. I like that with this, the one I'm, I'm about to show you that I got to repair. What happened was last year, I think it was the early part of the season, had it on my trailer didn't strap it down, said I ain't got that far to go to the next house, made a hard left turn, trailer went one way, spreader went the other way, and I bent the shaft. So I'll show you how I bent the shaft or whatever. But this company, I will say, it sells. Even though this spreader is, last year was only $150, but y'all know everything went up. Even though it's between $150, $160, it's built for tough. And if it breaks, you can buy everything. When I say everything, when you go on their website, you can buy everything for this, even down to the screws. So that's another one thing I like about it because Echo, y'all, I know y'all just getting into the game with spreaders, but y'all got to give us an opportunity to buy the parts. Like if we can look it right up. Now, I think, I'm not for sure. I have to uh, look it up. You can buy the the replacement cable in the spring, you know, to open up the hopper uh, uh, door and close it. You know, when you spread, it's got the way where you, you know, pull a handle. And when you pull a handle, it opens up. And then when you let it go, it closes. That's the part I'm going to tell y'all I don't like about this Echo. And I was looking at another YouTube and the guy reviewed that and said, you must clean this Echo RB60 because it won't perform right if the fertilizer started caking up under, underneath. And that's what I learned this season. Like when I'm putting down my Pediamine 1900 with Pediamine, I learned that fine dust that gets under there, if you don't clean it out, when you squeeze that handle, you think you opening it up all the way and it's not, it's not, it's like opening enough for the granulars to get out, but not the way it's supposed to. So I found myself like double squeezing the, like let the spring pop to make the drawer open all the way. You know, I had to double, it's, it's crazy the way, but then I'm gonna show you on, on the, uh, the one I'm repairing. You just push the level where it comes forward, you pull the level back and it closes. So let me flip the camera and let y'all see this. All right, YouTube. 
Here you go the Echo RB60. Here you go my Brindley Hardy. It's, I know it's upside down because I'm about to work on it. The only thing is this rust right here. This has to be cleaned off. And as you can see, I don't know if you can really see, this, this part of the axle is bent up. That's from it falling off the trailer. That side was okay. It's just this side is bent. So I went on and ordered the whole new piece. See how straight it is as a board. And oops. I got the tube, some replacement tubes. You know, the little foam that goes on the handle. I'm going to replace today. But as you see, it's got a little level. It's got a lever there. And the R RB60, it has the pull handle. So. All right, so, so far, it's been pretty easy. I just had to take these two bolts out, the crossbar, and the bush. And look, I got the old axle and gearbox out that quick. Took me nothing but five minutes, five, ten minutes. Now I'm going to take the plate off, take that Carter pin out, and put it on the new one. And run it back through the top, put the it Carter pin back in there, and we good to go. And then I just put the wheels back on, and my old spreader is back to new. And I'm gonna um, let me show you. Take some sandpaper and sand that down. Push come to shove, just buy a new one. So, all right. So, uh. I got 90% finished, but I see I need to order some more replacement pieces because for some reason, Mr. Newsom has lost the uh, bolt or the, uh, yeah, the bolt and the nut that goes in between the axle to hold the other wheel on. So I'm gonna order that and put it in and I'll be 100% complete. But let me show you what I, uh, how I fixed it and how it looked minus the pin in the wheel. So let me show you. Yep, see? Yep, look at that. Yeah, so once I get that other piece, it'll be back together. And I am gonna be honest. It's going on the trailer and the echo coming off. Uh, Echo didn't do a bad job for the first time they with uh making a spreader or you know bringing this spreader out, but it's just it don't it don't the gate don't open if it's it's if it's you know messed up. So when it get a little warmer here in Chicago, I will take my power washer and wash it down but yeah like the gentleman said and i'll put the link below in the description of the, the review i seen from the gentleman where he said you must clean it every time you use it this uh my spare the bra uh bradley or bradley uh i haven't cleaned this thing in three years i bought it brand spanking new from my number one russo and it was like 149, 150, something like that. But I ain't cleaned it. And it worked like butter every year. No problems. Didn't have to recalibrate. Well, I did recalibrate, but I mean, I didn't have to adjust anything. It went out and spread it like it was supposed to. Never had no problems. And it's a 50, if it's a 50 pound hopper, yes. Um, but yeah, I like it because the handles is, is just longer than that. Echo made them handles a little bit too short. Seeming like I'm rubbing on the bottom of my belly or, you know, mid-thigh when I'm pushing that thing. So, but yeah, I'm going to show you a picture of it and I'm going to let y'all go. Got this War Wounds. And it will replace the Echo RB60. It did its job, but I'm switching it out. All right, holla back.